Simmers, kumusta? It's Ligaya and welcome back to another episode of Not So Very Challenged. If you're new here, my name is Mia and on the last episode, Malaya's garden got poisoned by Nathan because as you know, he wanted to drive her away from these lands and force her to sell it to his family who were jealous that their grandma gave this to Malaya instead of them. And he did this while Malaya had no idea, she just thought it had something to do with the soil which even led her to replace it. But she still very much is in love with Nathan and would even like to go out with him, officially. So you also had seen at the beginning of the episode that the community of Hanford and Bagley came together to help her out. They gave her seeds and many other things that can definitely help her and her garden so she would also want to plant whatever they had given her and keep it healthy so that she can make money and harvest them as well and whatever she had harvested and whatever money she has earned of course will be put towards like a little celebration so that she can thank everyone who had come to help her So now it is really time to garden. They gave her a bunch of fall plants because there's only one more day of summer left. It's day 13 out of 14 so we are so freaking close when it comes to fall. Just a few more days. And though I've never experienced it before, fall is actually like one of my favorite seasons. I just think that it's very very like it's very pretty. They also got her a lot of pumpkin seeds because again, it's fall, it might be lucrative to even get this. And I still don't understand why, yeah, why Thumper is still here. Thumper has been here last episode as well, like I cannot do anything to help him. And I'm so worried because even though I placed this thing over here, he still hasn't moved an inch. I even placed down a home for him, it was just not working at all. I also wanted to give you an update with the mushrooms so I placed them all right here well except one because I have placed this down over here right so this is the lovely mushroom that we're supposed to have and it's not blooming just yet it is sheltered though so this day is just planting and planting and planting and end of summer starts tomorrow the holiday starts tomorrow okay i would love to celebrate that one i've added custom holidays to this to this game because i just feel like it's much more fun that way i would also would like to get some of these 700 for like 20 of them yeah i think it's worth it take gift offered by roger oh that would be nice and ask for gardening help as well we got a what a fire milk it can be found on her personal inventory. A fire milk. Spicy milk? Oh my, it's orange. It's uncommon even. How can something be so refreshing and spicy at the same time? I don't know. <laughs> and give gift. I can give you like some produce. Yeah, they like produce. Maybe a verdant mushroom. Hopefully you'd like that. Oh yeah, I don't have carrots. I don't think it's even in season right now, but I'll try my best to give him some carrots. And they have given her another cross stitch pattern. I was even thinking that we can finally get probably a cow, but then I realized right now that it actually costs 400 Samoans, so I need to save up a couple of more Samoans. The spicy milk made me remember it. The cherry tree is also growing. All three of them. Maybe I can haggle with them. But I came here and I remembered that we actually have a job as a stall assembler. And ooh, Miss Agatha, she would not let me haggle at all. And then we have an errand, right? Well, this is one thing I did not forget about, which is why I even came here. Because I wanted to see if they have lovely mushrooms. But I would also love to sell the items as well. I know I did not get to haggle, but still. The white wool is just really... Yeah, it's so expensive. It's 45 simoleons a piece. So it's like our savior right now. Okay, 540. And then let me see if I have something that I can get from you. Animal party treat. Maybe I can like get that, right? A fishy protein treat. A friendly treat. I know I would have to make this as well. So I would have to see how I can do that. Pumpkin treat. They do have mushrooms and all that, but it's very... How do I say this? Like, there's only like a few variety. Yeah, that sucks. Okay, so I'm gonna be spending 345. 
And might be also the perfect time for us to get a cow. I would love to get a brown cow. And what should we name the cow? I love naming my cows like names of Filipino food. So I'm gonna name this Tapa. <laughs> You can be Tapa. And of course, let's get you some love. Pat Tapa enthusiastically. Oh. <laughs> I'm also just gonna give you a treat, which could be the fishy protein treat or animal treat, friendly treat, pumpkin treat. Ooh, pumpkin spice milk, maybe. Yeah, we'll just we'll just get you that one. Oh, here's the pumpkin treat. Did you like it? You did! Oh, so cute. Then her next project is gonna be the chickens. So this day has just been really busy for her. Oh no, we also have to get to level 3 of the fitness scale. I forgot. And check stall holder schedule. Yes, I would do that one. I would let her go on a jog maybe right after we eat. We did not get the promotion. <laughs> we just got to fitness scale level 3. But I swear I'm gonna do this because we're already at excellence. So we might get promoted also next week. And it is actually the end of summer today. So we gotta get to grilling then we also can drink and then aside from that we have to have water fun so i was thinking of like going as well to the garden festival that will be happening or like the competition and i know that you can swim someplace in hanford on bagley's like town square so we'll definitely like go there and just go ahead and like, do some swimming and all that stuff of course, we'll bring Nathan with us and it starts at about 3.30 so we might go there later on. And I got so happy because finally we have harvested those mushrooms. We can finally get Sarah what she needed for us to give which is the spicy mushrooms and yeah, the lovely ones. Here's your mushrooms, miss ma'am. Oh, I thought she said while well, they tried but this is an old man. A judge. Okay, so we did what they ask. Please accept some small tokens of my appreciation. They'll come in handy the next time you prepare a meal. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got some tasty food to tuck into. She gave us some flowers, some egg, like an egg. Is this hatchable or no? It's not telling me yet. Some sugar, I think. Like a meat, perhaps? Yeah, it is a meat. And a beef wellington. Okay, we'll definitely eat this. She's also just grilling along with her friends, but we'll be um, eating soon and then hitting the waters later on. Yeah, it looks clean enough, especially for like a river and a town and a city. Oh, we just grilled some burgers, yeah, mushroom and cheeseburgers. We've got so much mushrooms in our inventory, so might as well just do that one. He also came and he looks awfully, awfully bored. We also found him spying, right? However, she may just like tell him all about that story, tell him the funny story that people um actually came to her place like yesterday. They gave her all those seeds. And let's at least hope he acts interested enough to listen for this. Well, he's smiling and nodding along. So maybe he is. And he's telling her, that's great. They seem like they're fun of you, like everyone in this place. Oh, but where are her manners? Right, let us introduce him to the other stew like i am so confused i get so confused at times where the hell are the other um introductions and whatnot where are the options because surely i don't see anymore where the introduction is that's so so bad okay let's just pretend we introduce him to everyone right here he will give them friendly introductions like each one of them because they gotta know him and there are like pies should we like grab something here before the competition ends there's chocolate pies, faux meat pie, and I guess that's it. Like, those are the entries for this year. And the lighting! Oh my gosh, wait, they're so cute. Splashing around each other, but don't you let him just do that one. Take a revenge too. <laughs> oh, she found it so funny. For once, he just decided to forget about what he came here for. For once, he had decided that he'd just enjoy the day without any reservations or no feeling that he has to pretend because he, ha he has like ill intentions because he hates to admit it. He's having a little bit of fun as well. They were just so caught up with each other that they haven't noticed that everyone else had really left. And they're saying like, you guys, what if we eat the competition pies? I know it sounds wrong, but it's fun. We might sabotage these people, but 
Oh my god, let's go. It's so fun. Maybe they won't notice. Well, we took like a slice, so they definitely would notice. Where are the others? Oh no! <laughs> Did they just leave us alone in this? Oh no, he was not able to because it resetted. Oh, but he was down for it. Oh no! <laughs> Then he tells her that it's just been a really fun day. He found it more fun than the totally calculated and planned bird watching session that they had a few days ago. And to be honest, he says that he would honestly love to do it again. And oh my gosh, the stars are so pretty out tonight. I freaking love this. Whoa, I want to take a photo of this. I think they would want to take a photo of this. Like, this is the night that we laid under the stars or something like that anyways <laughs> he ended up driving them back home and she would just like to thank him and i feel like should it be sudden at all but i feel like she's gonna go for the first kiss i don't have the kiss cheek like thingy for some reason i wanted it to be it i wanted them to do some cheek kisses and oh my god he's terrified what the heck he's terrified oh my god that was so perfect that was so freaking perfect what the fuck why did he get terrified i think it's mostly because of the fact that he knows what he's here for and and if she ever learns what he did he fears that maybe she would not forgive him at all oh my gosh the fact that he got terrified was just like chef's kiss perfect thank you sims <laughs> Nathan had already left and it's only now that she fully understand about what she did. She is right here worried because maybe the kiss was too soon for him but he is just over here blushing too and still scared because he's already going soft and he has to return home to his family successful like that's not an option. Failing is not an option. He only has also a few weeks left and he can't afford to go all soft now for her and he can't afford his feelings that is so clear to him at this point. However, he really can't betray his family. I will explain it all like later on a bit further down the storyline. So therefore, he thinks of a compromise. If he can convince her to sell the farm, he wouldn't have to disappoint his family and they can live far away from this place. She doesn't have to know about everything that he will do or he had already done, all those evil things that he had already done. So over the next few days, he will just try to convince her. It has to work, he says. For some reason, I have so many green beans, which is gonna be handy. Like, really? It's gonna give me 1,089, which I definitely need because I'm planning to turn this one into a greenhouse. I still have more, what the? 15? Why did I think I can make one? It's so ugly! <laughs> I don't like the roofing at all. Like, yeah, I gotta fix that one. Saturday is Halloween, and then after that is already her birthday. But on Saturday as well, there's going to be a Finchwick cow fair that's gonna go on. So I would want to join that with Tapa. Then I think I gotta work on the aspiration now too. So we have to craft animal treats five times. Click on any fridge, chicken coop, or animal shed. Choose to create animal treats. Choose which ingredients to use and have your sim create animal treats. Tip, certain animal treat types will need to be learned before you can make them. And then we need to harvest one perfect quality oversized crop. So I love to do that. And I've been giving them all like fertilizers and all that so that we can get like a perfect quality of it. Well, as of right now, we can create friendly treats using any fruits or veggies. And then we can also create fishy protein treat. Yeah, we only need one fish for it. Okay. For pumpkin treat, of course, we would need a pumpkin. And for veggie treat, any lettuce and any aubergine. Then she just got a FaceTime request from someone. And to be honest with you, before this one, she was trying not to think about him at all. Because she felt a little guilty for kissing him so soon. But then he called her and asking if they can meet up on a on a restaurant that he found and of course she's just gonna say yes she's too happy she wants to see him so much and of course she'll be happy to say yes he invited us on dinner time which is at seven so i think it's fine if we just go fishing first oh wow malaya you absolutely suck at this yeah looks like the fish in this area are too crafty for malaya try fishing elsewhere until she has more skill or try using a more valuable bait and just let her have this she is so excited to get a fish did she? Uh, uh, oh, 
please and what is that thing walking over to us <laughs> are you kidding me you're so good at gardening but you can't even do this you know what same wait did you get any she did she got a goldfish and it's probably time to end this malaya and like head over to the restaurant because it's raining and it's also thundering you guys i wanted to eat upstairs no it had been claimed already by other diners oh my god she's so pretty in his lens also in real life and i have this theory okay if you compliment the chef they would actually cook your food first i tried it before my black widow series i always thought it was a coincidence but if it is but we've gotta see we've gotta see right here oh well thank you you're a good customer see that i'm such a good customer so please prioritize my order let's see if this is ours like let's see let's just see or is it theirs is it ours did you see that for the second time holy shit it's actually true <laughs> i'm so happy with the fudge wait this is only his order what happened to our order yeah what happened to it are you not gonna bring out my order at all i'll try it again so it has been a couple of minutes honestly he was just waiting for her to get back and she was also whining about like the poor service in here wait oh my god it has really been just a few minutes and then we gotten our food wait has it been improved like since the latest patch but i don't seem to be like getting my food as well on this table i think the wait time though is like i think the wait time for the food is yeah it is significantly decreased however i just don't understand why we're not getting our food anyways he was just waiting for her to get back and he's asking her right now how did she get such a massive farm like did she inherit it from her parents then she'll tell him that she never knew them and it's actually this kind old lady who gave her the lot she was really kind to her but unfortunately she passed away because of old age so that's what happened she is curious why he asked but he tells her that he's just curious because it's such a great location and he's heard a few townies like people yeah talking about how the lot can be so expensive he won't outright tell her to sell it but he's planting the idea in her head she also says that she does not know but if she were to be honest she really doesn't want to sell it so for now he leaves it there's always another day for it anyways guys they are official he had asked her to be his girlfriend because he's really sure now about his feelings for her but i do live for the drama so i don't think malaya will just have an easy happy ending anyways i hope you guys like today's episode and i hope you look forward to the next one so yeah thank you so much for watching and bye bye